Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Live Alive. Last time we left off, we were hanging out over here with our star pupil, Yun. And, uh, yeah, we got a bunch of asses to kick. So let's get kicking. Is the table gonna be back? I hope the table's back. There's a lot of people to fight. So, I wonder when Shifu is actually gonna die, because I feel like you're not long for this world at this point, Shifu. It has been heavily pointed out and, you know, uh, teased. And you are mine. Who said that? That was weird. <laughs> that sounded weird. Um, it's been, it's been heavily foreshadowed, hinted at, all that stuff, plus it just makes sense. Because, um, I mean, Enough. it's a JRPG slash a hero's journey thing, and, uh, the old sensei exists, so of course they have to die. I mean, I, I, obviously you were gonna die, you know, of old age or something at the end, but I'm imagining I, you're gonna die against Odio, and I'm gonna have to fight Odio with just Yun. That is my hypothesis. Because, yeah, obviously you're going to die by the end of this, but I'm wondering when exactly you're going to. Am I going to lose you halfway through these fights? Or am I going to lose you in the fight against Odio? I don't know. It would make sense to me if you died before we got to Odio. Because then it would be Yun carrying on the torch. So, let's get in there. I'm scared of the old man. Old man is intimidating. I can't tell if this is going to get Yun to, uh... See, what are you weak to in particular? Your weaknesses is punch. Okay, so get over here. Tiger and Dragon's Rebuke. Uh I forgot what I was saying. Ooh, you have more HP. Soon all will know the name, General's composure. Owie. Okay, well let's just go over here and tag team you. Which one of these does more damage? Hardship strike. That's good. I'm glad you have a stronger punch. Ooh. Yun doesn't play around. <laughs> that damage. It's so hot. Are you? I have my doubts. Uh, oh yeah, you resist that. So, you're weak to... Traveler's first step. Gotcha. Longest journey begins with but a single step. There we go. Wipe the Serpent Serenity, you're countering me. Oh dear! Oh dear, is right. Uh, Desperation's Kick. Both of my kicks do low damage, so... This could leave them stun, wild and flailing kick. I don't think I want to do that. Kablooey. Wipe Serpent Serenity. Okay, yeah, yeah. Do your little, do your little anime call out. Owie. You're, you're being very annoying. Goodbye. Boom. Nothing too crazy, though. And we do still have those, uh, combat items that I can use at some point. Plus just a ton of healing items. So, I see no problem with this. Shouldn't have too much trouble. You two look like big lads, though. Hello. Oh, they're big lads. Tongshan Sha Cha. Uh, I feel like you're gonna be weak to... You're not. You're weak to... Lion's... Dismissal. We have, like, no spirit attacks in this, so... Uh, I am wondering if some of the, uh... Other characters, like if Lei or, um... If, uh, Lei or Hong, or possibly even Yun, uh, once we you know, get them higher level, they'll, uh, they, they will or would learn, uh, something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and hit you with this. Yes, please. Just to finish you off. It is very cool to have this moment where Yun is clearly stronger than Shifu at this point. After Shifu has been... Remember the name. Well, let's... Get out of that. Yeah, I was about to say, that's probably right in front of you. Owie. Um, 
it is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? God. It is cool to kind of have this moment where, yes, Yun is just straight up stronger than Shifu at this point. After Shifu has been incredibly busted all game, we can see the culmination of what we've done. So, that's neat. I like that quite a bit. It is neato. There we go. High kick. Oh. High jump kick. I wish you would have missed and hurt yourself, like in Pokemon. Kick to the face. Okay, and you're still vulnerable to this. I wish I had a stronger version of this attack. Uh... Well, you're dead. And Shifu managed to survive. He's lived with 1 HP, really? With your magic pixel ass? How dare. Can't believe. Very shook. You did well. Alright. Yeah, we might get like level 9, maybe? But that's all I see us getting. I'm just happy these fights are actually difficult. Most of the fights in this chapter have been an absolute cakewalk, so it's fun to have some, uh, some real challenge here. So... I do like some challenge. I don't like when things are overly easy. I mean, it's, it's fine. If a game's easy, I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, it's an awful game. Um... But, uh, I do like me some difficulty. I do like to have to kind of build strategies and things around stuff. I think that's another reason why I'm happy I specifically went for, uh, not just dumping all the stats on one character, because it'll make the final fight more interesting, because I'll have a harder time. Are you weak to anything I have access to? You are weak to fire, so no. Um, if only we had a Shoryu. Okay, well let's, uh, use Tiger and Dragon's Rebuke. Because I would like to weaken you. Kablooey. You still get the stat? You no, no, you did not. Okay, well that was bad. Um, I was hoping you would still get the debuffs. Well, I can hit you with that. Maybe we should focus on this one, since... You know, they actually have weaknesses we can exploit. Strangely fast for... for some big lads. Poison Fist? How does one even do that? How does one poison their fist? Can you teach me how to do that? <laughs> that sounds wild. Okay, so... If they resist it, maybe I can't apply the status effects to them with that stuff. Yeah. I wish I could inspect you to see... Um... Ooh, you resist that. Uh, I wish I could inspect you to see... Like, exactly what all of your attacks and abilities do. I'm used to having that... Ability in, uh... Like, strategy RPGs like this. But not here. Interrupted you, at least. That's what I wanted. And now... You are dead. Eat it, nerd. I do like that Hardship Strike is just a stronger version of uh, the other punch skill that I got. So I at least have a better option for Marshall. Vengeful All in King's Wake. Come for you. Do they? That's interesting. Thank you for thank you for letting me know. I had no idea. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> Enough. Kaboom! Yeah, lock those abilities. And yeah, we've seen that that doesn't really work against you. Let's see here. Could potentially paralyze you here. Let's uh, do this, because it could potentially leave you stunned. I'm just gonna kind of have to wail on you here. Aha, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, wise fox, show me your grace. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, fade into your dark mist. You did well. Boom. Ooh, dragon glove. Ooh, that sounds good. I'm gonna. I guess I can have the opportunity right here to equip stuff if I get some. Uh, all right. Dragon glove lowers physical attack, increase special attack. I don't really have any special attacks. Hmm. 
I might learn one when I hit like level nine or maybe level ten. I don't I don't have an attack that's like a spirit type attack though, and I don't even think unseen is that considered like special attack? I don't even no. Let's see here. It doesn't say here. Yeah, I'm imagining all the elements, spirit, demonic, and void are magic, and projectile, blunt, grappling, slashing, thrusting, agile, and martial are um, the physicals. So, yeah, I don't think we even have access to a special attack. So, no, I don't think I will be equipping those. Thank you. I mean, I could equip it on you. Once again, you don't really have a special attack, though. Your physical attack is actually quite low. I mean, sure, take take the Dragon Glove. Hopefully you don't die and I lose access to that and then get a special attack that I want to use. But, uh, we'll see. Interesting. Is it? You more than live up to your reputation, Shifu. But how will you fare against the Sisters Three? Let us see. Oh, okay, so we are going to be fighting all three of them. Every single time we've done this before, it's been, you know, two on two. But, uh, this time we're gonna have to fight all three of them, and then it's the old man just by himself. Intimidating as all hell. You do not mess with old man. Or old lady. Ooh, you use a bow staff. I really like that. You're, I can't really tell what you're using. You're using, like, clubs? And over there, you have, like, scimitars. Cool. So what are you weak to? Let me know. You're weak to agile stuff. Agile. All right. Well, we're gonna Longest focus on you. With but a single Bye, okay. Okay. Don't all don't all of you talk at once, please. Jeez. Ooh, chipmunks to life. Free attack. All right. Uh, right here. Cause I want to be able to do this to you. Yeah, let's do that. All right, you should be going down pretty easily. Yes. Shifu's about to get another attack, and you're focusing on Shifu, even though Shifu resists that garbage. All right, now the other two, a bit more intimidated by, because they're actually together. You were separated, so I could just kind of run over here and pick you off. Ooh, especially if you have ranged attacks. Owie. Don't like that. Uh, so what are you weak to? You have no weaknesses. Um. Hmm. Well, I mean, let's just start with lowering your stats. I think that's probably a good place to begin. There we go. What I really need is to get some crowd control on you. This might be a bad position for you to be in. Um, let us, let's see, do I do that or do I, I could potentially get a paralyze on you, which would be amazing, or I could knock you back. And I'm not sure which one would be the better call. Um, I also think I could use, um, within an area. Yeah, that's, that's not going to help. I don't think. Okay, so let's, um... Let's see, which one, uh, Traveler's First Step? That has a chance of paralysis. Please? Really appreciate it. Damn. Okay, but that's fine. You're attacking Shifu? Well, that was an attack. Jeez. Okay, uh... Yun, I'm gonna have to have you go ahead and use a, uh... Moderate amount of HP to self and enhance your attributes. Maybe this one. There we go. Just munch on some food in the middle of combat. That'll help. All right, vicious slash. Oh my gosh, your damage. Okay. Um. Get in there, Shifu. Start just hitting him with the AOE. Wise Fox Graces. Boom. Okay, we've limited you. You counter me. That's fine. Oh god, that's not fine. Never mind, it missed both of us. Wasn't even scared. <laughs> Wasn't even scared. 
I had the entire situation under control. Um, so I can't move there, so I do think we just need to go ahead and finish you off like this. So, you don't resist hardship strike. Let's just go ahead and hit you with that. I th that should finish you, you have 28 HP. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I mean, three enemies at once is pretty dangerous. Especially since we don't have a lot of ranged or kind of AoE attacks. Okay, that doesn't do a lot of damage. Yeah, eat chipmunk. Boom. And go ahead and finish it off with my favorite skill. MVP skill of this of this chapter. Bye bye. I like your hair. You look like Shantae, and I really like Shantae. That's all. Okay. Dragon attire, and you finally got that level up. Ice Brand's Bite! Yes, we finally got an elemental attack. Thank you. Okay, so now there's actually a reason to potentially equip that. Because Yun has higher special attack than physical attack. And that is the special attack. So, yeah. So, maybe I do take those things off of Shifu now. So, give me... Here, you can have your pot back. Uh, I will be taking the Dragon Glove to give me 81 special attack, and I'll also be taking the Dragon Attire to give me even more special attack. Hopefully the boss does not resist water. I will be a little depressed. That makes you a little bit stronger. That makes you a little bit stronger. I think I might get to use you at least in this in this final fight here, so let's go for that. I think this might also get Yun to uh, level 10, maybe? It would make sense to get you to max level before the final boss. Impressive. You've put on quite a show, Sir Fool. It has been too long since you faced a proper opponent. Enjoy it, E. Pei Ko. Alright, E. Let's go. Ipeko. Oh wow, you look badass. Look at you. Hello. So, you're weak to nothing, you resist a bunch. You do not, however, resist Wise Fox's grace. You resist every other kind of attack, though, so grapples are kind of what I gotta go for here. There we go. You should be honored to die by Demon Killer's ambition. 44. Oh my god, that, that that attack lowered, though. Well, I know what I'm going to be hitting you with. I fell a wave of freezing air at an enemy with a focused knife hand strike, and it's ranged. And it can inflict paralysis. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, I like you. Crane's flight. Uh-huh. So... Ooh, I can't wise Fox's grace. Um... I could do either of those things, but uh, how about we just heal you up with like a uh, let's see, what do we what do, what do we got here? White clover, very minor amount of HP. Yeah, sure. Here you go. I hope this works. I hope this works. <laughs> I hope so too. I hope so too, Shifu. I'll freeze you in your traps. Boom. Yeah. Uh, so, not really a lot to do here. I guess I'm going to do the chipmunk. Well, they both in have a chance of inflicting paralysis. You resist it, though, so I don't know if it works if you resist it. Like, if you resist the attack, it seems like your chance at actually inflicting a status ailment goes out the window. A kind of a neat detail for this would be, like, if Shifu goes down in combat, that's it. Shifu's done and you just lose Shifu for the rest of the fights. But if you can keep him alive, that'd be neat. I feel like the battles are scaled in such a way that they want you to have both of the characters though, so I don't think that's the case. Flesh is no much for spirit. Is it not? Smack. All right, hit him with the final Ice Brand Bite. Ice Brand's Bite. There we go. So good. I can't believe you have an ice Hadoken. Ice and like 
Ice and lightning and like wind are my favorite elements, so that's a cool one to get. There you go, Yoon. Not quite gonna reach level 10 unless you have like a secret tiger hidden somewhere. But uh, we did pretty well. Alrighty. Hit me with your best shot, fire away. <laughs> Forgive me, but I neglected to introduce Sozu and Mendu. Jeez, what are what are you, Billy Mays? But wait, there's more. Come on, just let me fight you. Stop teasing me. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> but wait, <laughs> there's so many enemies to fight. My elite guard, trained assassins who shadow my every step. I dare say. They would have a fighting chance against me, were they to grow ambitious. Thus do I keep them close, that I must remain on guard every moment. That'd be another thing that's interesting. What if the reason there's so many fights, what if they scale the fights based off of how many fights you need to hit level 10, basically? So maybe some fights will be taken out if you're lower level? I'm just spitballing, and that might be too much work. We of the indomitable fist eschew such things as trust and camaraderie. I see, so you're the Sith. For sentiment is the enemy of strength. Oh yeah, definitely the Sith. Attachments bind lesser men and prevent them from attaining true power. Which, the Sith is likely based off of something from history and just the general idea of like attachment makes you weak or something like that so it may be based in some kind of martial art or something like that which would be an interesting one i'm not sure of what that is but i'm sure the ideology exists somewhere nothing original under the sun after all uh Yuin, i will handle the assassins oh and you my disciple you will fight O.D. Wan Li. Me? One on one? Li's intent from the first has been to wear us down, bit by bit. Doesn't he know that's pointless? We heal after every fight. He knows my strengths will not last, but he does not know your potential. Remember, your comrades laid to rest atop Mount Aspiration, and my final gift to you. My final teaching. Let's do it. Every breath carefully drawn. This is such a badass attack. Unfortunately, I lowered my physical attack, and I'm sure this is physical. Every movement subtle and sudden. The culmination of my life and my art. With mind's eye. And open heart. Mark well and learn. Big punches, combo, combo, combo. All right, we're going to do that, Yun. I'll try to finish the boss off with that if I can. I remember Shifu. So, rather than fight me yourself, you send this child in your place? I expected an old fool, but an old coward. <laughs> You've always had faith in me, Shifu. Today, I repay that faith! Hmm. That was a line read, Yuen. Voice actor killing it. So tell me, child, are you so eager to die? Here it comes. What's this? I right, oh no, are you gonna is this how you're gonna die? You're gonna overexert yourself doing that, but it's gonna take both of them out? Quick Yoon, while the back is turned, just just kick the shit out of this idiot. <laughs> Shifu's greatest secret!
<laughs> I don't I don't know why you idiots are just standing there letting them do that. Don't you see they're pulsing with crazy energy? <laughs> A desperate bluff. Heavenly peaks descent! Oh. Okay, Ewan's voice actor brought it for this. <laughs> Very hype. Oh my god, you're so big. <laughs> I love I love the trope of making boss sprites just gigantic. Oh my god, it's magic! Harness the Shifu's wisdom to execute his ultimate technique and bear down upon an enemy of the strength of mountains. Can be executed only once. Hmm. I mean, I feel like I want to do that right now. The only thing I worry about is if I do it at the beginning of- if I blow my load at the beginning of the battle, maybe you heal or something? Let, let's hold off. Let's not blow our load immediately. How about that? Let's go ahead and do this. Ice Brand! Hadouken! That's less of a Hadouken and more of something else. Okay, you have- you have that- you have that kind of ranged attack. Oh. Holy shit! Okay, don't get hit by that. Uh. <laughs> Do not get hit by that. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and restore my HP here. Maybe this one. Hopefully it will. Okay. Maybe you can only use that once too? I- I hope to god. It'd be really nice if I could get a stats effect on you. 111. Rabid Wolf's Rage. Owie. That's fine, though. Hit you with this again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paralysis, please. Oh, God. I might die from this. I was hoping you could only use that one time. Ah, please. Oh. You're such a G, you and you're such a G. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> All right, we lived. We're alive. Maybe this one. Okay. Red bean buns, OP. By the power of delicious food, I will smite you. Let's do it. Heavenly Peaks descent. You're at half HP. Yeah! Big Dimaggio. I see what your master saw in you. Do you? One more Hadoking should do it. It's more like a sonic boom from Guile, I guess. That was a cool fight. Oh, this weakling. Oh, that was a cool fight. I got really lucky with how many times you missed on that kick. But I like when things are dangerous and risky like that. It's fun. It makes it so much more exciting. I knew you were going to hit the gong. <laughs> There's that red mist. Yeah, the peace sign. I'm so proud of you. I am too. You've become so strong. Stronger than I did hope. But Shifu, I still have so much to learn. I have faith that our art. Okay, so I I was right about the final boss. You um you don't get the Yushifu. That was really cool. We'll endure for generations to come. Preserved and protected by you, my worthy successor. No, Shifu, don't! You can't leave me now! Listen, I am old. Too old. 
that I have lived so long is a miracle indeed. In guiding you on this path, I found renewed purpose for a time. Yun, you are a kind and a loving young man. With a purity of spirit that shines through in your every word and deed. If you take but one thing to heart, then let it be this. Trust in yourself. Yours is a righteous soul. I will remember your words, Shifu. Well then, it's time for me to go and tell Hong and Lei just how much you've grown. Shifu? Shifu! Well, I mean, we knew how this was going to end, so that was... That was... You could see that coming, but God, that's still... That, that was a good ending for this chapter. That was a very good ending for this chapter. I liked that quite a bit. I also like the idea... Oh. Boulder. However, I know I still have much to learn. Sometimes I wonder if I'll ever be as wise or as skilled as you were, or if I can fulfill your dying wish. But I must cast all doubt from my mind and train until I master our art. This I promise you all. I will carry on our legacy. I will be the Shifu. Yeah. Any other dialogue? Okay, no more dialogue, I think. I think we're hitting credits now. Cool. That was... A neat end to that chapter. The Shifu slash Roshi. Huh. Interesting. I wonder what slash Roshi. Was that I that mu that must mean something or have some other kind of context that I'm not familiar with. Maybe that's what they're referred to in Japanese? I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about the context of that word besides Master Roshi being named Master Roshi. But there's probably a reason Master Roshi was named that as well, because Master Roshi is also a martial arts master, so... Alright, that was, uh, that was a good chapter. That was a good chapter. I really liked that one. Um, it was neat to kind of get back to some of the JRPG elements after having some more of the experimental uh, things going on. Not that I dislike those chapters, because Distant Future is still my favorite. But, um, it was neat to kind of get back into this sort of thing. That was cool. Um, I like the idea of you kind of building up your disciple, and then you get to see the fruition of all of their training at the end. That's really cool. I still think it was super fun to, um, kind of even out all the characters and then just see who I end up getting, and I, I got Yun. And the final fight wasn't really that hard. Uh, I saw some people saying that I would have, like, a really hard time or something like that. Luckily, I saw all of that stuff after I already knew what was going on. But uh, people were like, oh my god, you're gonna have such a hard time with it. And it wasn't that bad. Um, I didn't even really get an opportunity to use those combat items I had. I should have used those. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it was it was pretty easy, all things considered. Um, maybe it got nerfed from, like, the previous game or something. Because I know people have said, you know, there's various buffs or nerfs to certain characters. Uh, and everything, but yeah, this was uh, this was super super cool. I really had a good time with this one. That ending really was a fantastic payoff. You know, 
very, very, very tropey and cliche. Like, obviously, you know, we picked the shonen protagonist. The shonen protagonist succeeds the master kind of thing. But sometimes cliche and tropey doesn't have to be bad if it's done well. And I think that was... Sometimes that's what you want, you know? So I'm happy. I'm happy with that. This is one of the chapters I would say would probably be most interesting to do re uh, replays of on my own time. To see kind of what the Lei and Hong route looks like. That could be cool. Um, just to kind of see how they differ. Because I am interested in both of those as well. Um, but I thought Yuan was a good one to go with for the first attempt here. I also, once again, just really liked Yuan's design and the fact that uh, he was the underdog in this group. Um. Whoa. Legacy preserved. <laughs> Put that up there with uh, prey slaughtered and stuff from like Bloodborne. Put it on memes. Do it. All right, Ewan. Thank you for your time. As you kick the screen. Cool. Um. Yeah, basically my only gripe with that chapter was um, some of the actual like training was a little slow because you're basically doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, and some of the fights like against the more generic enemies were like super easy. Um, but that was a very minor, minor thing. Um, if I have to rank them now, I would say... Hmm. I think number one is probably still Distant Future. I think number two is still uh, Present Day. I think this chapter is now number three, and I think I'll put Pogos at the last, just just because I think this one had like a cooler ending. It was it was a hyper ending. It more it appealed to, more to me personally. This ending, like uh, Pogos chapter, was very good. Once again, none of these chapters have been bad so far. This game is amazing, but if I had to give a very subjective ranking to them, uh, that would be it. So. Yeah, I quite like this one. This one was fun. And uh, we're at 38 minutes on this recording, but... Uh, oh, look, the little symbol is a little panda. Um, something someone let me know, uh, and I think I will look into, is uh, apparently I can hop back into Distant Future and grab the things that I missed. So I'm gonna have to refresh myself on exactly what the con comment said, but um, we can get a little something something. Apparently, uh, I, I can't remember at this point, but I took a picture of like a password and I was supposed to interact with something and put in that password and then um, I would gain access to some little secret lore information. Not really secret, but hidden. Um, so I think we're gonna hop back in there and I'll grab that really quickly while I have some spare time today. And uh, I'll see you once I get to it. Okay, so this is definitely the password. I thought I took the picture on my phone, but no, I took it on my Switch. Oakfd. So, I'm not totally sure where I have to go for that. Um, and it is kind of interesting that I don't know, because now I'm just gonna kind of bumble around the ship until I find it. I would guess the main computer, but I have to figure out some way to get in there. Oh yeah, I can't run into the monster. Monster's dead. Hemoth lies sprawled. Black and burns, presumably, yeah. All right, so OD-10 status. In response to critical error, autonomous AI control has been sequestered. Uh, restoration to factory settings is currently in progress. Due to injury, administrator rights have been transferred from crewmate Kado to crewmate Cube. Access code for main computer room is as follows. Judge. All right, cool. So, and yeah, we just have to go to the main computer room. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty simple. I was thinking the main computer, but then I started thinking to myself, I'm like, wait, I can't get into the main computer room. So I just went to that one because that was the only other one I could think of, and sure enough, so. I would like to go to level three. That is where the main computer room is, I do believe. So yeah, 
luckily it's uh, very, very easy to pull this off. So, go over here. It, you know what would be really rude? Is now that the now that the behemoth is dead, if it specifically knows I'm going down this path to get this stuff, they sneak in another jump scare somehow. I don't know how, but somehow, you know? Like, spook me a little. I wouldn't be expecting it, because I'm all safe, because I'm like, well, the behemoth's dead, who cares? Main computer room. Uh, the password is... Is it all caps? I'll try all caps. Judge. Yes. Access granted. And now I gotta put in Oak Oakford. Oakford. Oh yeah, the other thing people mentioned to me is apparently here in settings and gameplay tips. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, I forgot. Yeah, so you can look. So I was thinking... Okay, so I was thinking gameplay tips would just have the tutorials, but there's a separate listing for tutorials and gameplay tips. So the gameplay tips are these things, which gives like, you know, kind of story. I still wish the, the loading screens were slow enough that you could actually read them, but... The Smash Hit first developed and released by Armat Soft on September 2nd, 1994. This timeless classic boasts an active fan base that participates in yearly competitions. The highest scoring player receives a gold cartridge that still commands high prices on auction sites. Commercial uh, spaceship that ferries shipments to and from Earth. For ease of operation, all internal systems are managed by a control AI. To date, this particular model has not a single recorded instance of operational failure. Yeah, if I had seen that earlier, I would have I would have been smelling this ending coming even more. Details schematic. New crewmates are advised to familiarize themselves with the location of all duty modules and consult it without hesitation. An essential facility for the preservation of crew and resources during long voyages through outer space. Multiple redundant life support systems ensure that hibernating crew do not come to harm. Standard relaxation module. Furnished with retro arcade machine and a coffee maker, the central feature of this communal space is the wall-mounted display, making it ideal for crew briefings. Sole point of entry and exit from the ship. In order to perform exterior maintenance and repairs, crewmates must don spacesuits and utilize a two-door chamber operated by another crewmate. Failure to observe airlock protocol may result in a rapid depressurization <laughs> pressurization and or death. Yeah, we know all about that. At present, the xenobiological specimen designated Behemoth is contained within a military-grade enclosure and under constant surveillance by the ship's control AI. Uh, injured crewmates receive treatment. State-of-the-art recovery bed is fully automated, allowing crewmates lacking medical knowledge to operate the facilities without difficulty. Uh, reserved for administrative purposes. New crewmate registration and database queries are among the most common tasks performed here. Deep space transmissions to and from Earth outposts are processed by the Watanabe Hypercaster communication system. Oh yeah, that's someone el something else someone mentioned to me about um, the Imperial China chapter in particular. Um, the Watanabe reference, uh, you have to do Hong. You have to make Hong your disciple for that. And... A module housing the Kogito Ergo Sums uh, Control AI server, dubbed Decimus. The highly advanced AI oversees all aspects of ship operations to ensure a safe, efficient, and pleasant journey for the crew and passengers. Yeah, okay, so they, they don't they don't actually give you the, the OD10 um, designation until that reveal later. I was wondering if I had missed it earlier or something and just didn't notice, but... Okay, private quarters. Although some passengers may elect not to restrict access to their quarters, all interests must input their name. Moreover, in the event of emergency, an access code may be required. God, there's a lot of these. The Behemoth. Threat assessment extreme. Xenobiological specimen secured by military assets on Redacted. Specimen possesses two horns and a thick coat of emerald fur that is largely impervious to civilian-grade arms. Ah, but Darth did not have civilian-grade arms. And the electronic tool, the pry bars inserted in a small crevice, the ultrasonic vibrations to aid the wielder in manually opening doors and hatches. While useful in emergencies, usage is limited. Coffee? There's <laughs> even a thing for coffee? Indispensable drink made by Rose for roasted and ground beans. Available on demand via the machine, and the coffee has long been part of the to reduce stress and increase focus. Beverages can be tailored to individual tastes. Training. Oh, okay, okay, so now we're at, now we're at the Shifu ones. Now we're at the Shifu ones, so... Okay, there's significantly less of these. Okay, yeah, no, Distant Future just has a ton. Better see with one own eye, one's own eyes than to hear another's tale. Better to act uh, oneself than to observe another. 
With every training bout, the Shifu helps his disciples grow stronger. The techniques the master wields in battle are imparted to the attentive student, and the traditions are preserved. As the scythe can fell the tree with time, drop by drop can water pierce the stone. Along the steep path leading to the summit sits a cottage and school where the Shifu refines his arts. In the thin, crisp air where the others struggle to breathe, he moves with power and grace. The scorpion will sting and the snake bite, for it is their nature. Beyond the bamboo forest lies the grand forest of a singular school. Might makes right is their creed, and they welcome even the most unscrupulous soul, provided they have potential. The villagers look away when they pass for fear of their temper. Disguised as the tiger, the fox may deceive the fool. From the base of Mount Aspiration into the west stretches a dense wood. Though a source of potent medicinal herbs, it hides ravenous animals and desperate bandits. Still further to the west looms the walls of the Indomitable Fist Fortress. Cornered Rat will defy the lion. Though this humble village south of Mount Aspiration has long survived off the bounty of the bamboo forest, the youths have begun to look for work in Yunfa and distant ports, leaving their elders behind to fend for themselves even as sickness spreads. That's unfortunate. The harried thief thinks not of the taste, only the chase. The merchants throng and thrive east of Mount Aspiration, peddling their wares from near and far. Many, many culinary delights are on offer as well, such as the famed soup dumplings of Hoi, which sell out daily and have brought the owner much success. Alright, and this is... Uh, learning techniques, I might balk to leave yourself open, but a true store warrior is willing to do whatever it takes to become the strongest. Famed Japanese wrestler and legendary luchador heel, his willingness to bend the rules. Oh wait, we saw these. Okay, yeah, no, these we these we did get to see. MCAT, and then... Okay, that just takes me back to the radar. There's not one on, uh, Odeo. Here, okay. Well, yeah, I just wanted to go back through those since people did mention those were a thing. Um, they, they would be listed there, so that is cool. And now we can do this. Main menu, systems check, diagnostics assessment. Systems check. Primary systems online, maintenance and control systems are operating within acceptable parameters. Okay, give me more. Diag dynamics. Access to dynamics assessment is restricted to the ship's captain. Access restrictions may be bypassed with valid override code. Waiting access code inputs. So it was oak of fd, right? Oak fd. Oak fd. Oak fd. All right, that's what we'll put in then. No, not judge. What? Access code you provide is incorrect. No, I didn't. What? I didn't even put in judge. This just I, th I think the switch just auto filled that. Because it was the last thing I put in. Whoopsie doopsie. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oak for the... Okay. A? Thank you. Cool. So, now let's put this in. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. Confirm. Access granted. Confidential. Cohort dynamics assessment. Note, ratings are relative to previous assessments. Initiative. Huey Trumbull. Reduced. Kirk Wells. Increased. Rachel Klein. Unchanged. Yoshi Yuki Kato. Unchanged. Ingenuity. Yeah, you're racing him on these things. Huey and Kirk are reduced. Rachel is unchanged. Uh, Kato's has increased because you built me. Civility. Huey reduced. Kirk reduced. Rachel reduced. Kato unchanged. Yeah, because they were having issues with each other. That makes sense. So this is the AI judging the people, and this kind of shows how the AI reached the conclusion that it should, you know, start killing them because they're not being efficient. Prudence. Huey reduced, yep. Kirk, Rachel reduced. Even Kato reduced on Prudence. Cohort cohesion significantly reduced. Risk of incident significantly increased. Conclusion. Reconciliation impossible. Recommendation. Recommendation. Disillusion. So yeah, that is why the ship did that. And I think that's everything I missed here. So I think we can go ahead and end things there. Um, so let's uh, return to chapter selects. That's fine, we don't need that stuff. So uh, the other idea I had to do here, so... Um, the way I've been spinning to see what chapters we get up to this point you know, due to like the thumbnail of the new video and the title, it kind of spoils which one I actually end up choosing. So I think what would be cool is if I hide it in this video and then people 
uh, you know, won't know exactly uh, which one. They'll actually be surprised, like I am. So, uh, we can spin and we'll see which one of these we get. I'll pull up the spinner and we shall see. So this is a reward for people that watch this far, because thank you. All right, here we have it's Present West in Japan. Like I said, Wild West is the one I was most interested in initially, so let's see. We're going to Edo. The Edo period. All right, and that's convenient because that's the one I'm already on. So cool. So that's the one we're going to tackle next time. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Alive Alive, and I'll see you then.